so today we will learn medians of the triangle medians of the triangle is what the line segment the line segment from vertex to vertex to the midpoint midpoint of opposite side is called median no, i haven't wrote that down because i can't see so i'm not done writing it down okay write down first so this is the triangle a b c are three vertices now the line segment joining the well, I, haven't, I haven't wrote, wrote it okay okay so the line segment from vertex to the midpoint of opposite side is called median so suppose this a is the vertex and what is the opposite side of vertex a mm. mm -hmm. um and so Look at the board. Well, I'm not done. I'm on the last line, so I can't look at the board if I'm writing it down. First, first, uh, don't write it. First, try to understand the concept. Then I will give you the time for writing. Okay? So tell me. Yeah. Look at the board. Pay attention. What is the opposite side of vertex A? Tell me. It's B C. B C. so you have to find the midpoint of bc which is this okay so what is the definition of median the line segment from vertex to midpoint of the opposite side yes so this is the midpoint i am giving the name of this where midpoint meet it with the side we'll give it the na in uh, naming d okay same will make it from vertex b because we have three vertices so we can make it three medians in the triangle so vertex b what is the opposite side of vertex b it's going to be a not b vertex b oh. um it's going to be c ac right so you will find the midpoint and you will make a median so this is the e okay now the third is third verte vertex is c now what is the opposite side of vertex c ab so this is the median third median and i have given the name f okay so the line segment joining the midpoint of one side of a triangle to the opposite vertex is called a median as you know that right now in triangle in triangle abc in triangle abc d is the midpoint of ab d is the midpoint of bc so the line segment ad is called a median right similarly e is the midpoint of ac 
so when you join from vertex b to e you will get the median second median third median from the third vertex c when you joining from the c to f you will get the third median which is cf so we have there are three medians in triangle so there are three medians there are three medians in a in a triangle which is ad be i i need to get a pen and cf i need to get a pen okay r r medians of triangle abc triangle abc where d e and f d e and f are midpoints of side of side bc ac and ab ab respectively respectively this is the hmm so there are three medians in a triangle ad ab cf so this side is equals to this side because d is the midpoint of bc same this side is equals to this side because e is the median of ac same af and fc is equal because f is the midpoint of ab hmm so now we have learned how you will make it a uh, three medians right now the three medians now the three medians of a triangle of a triangle are intersecting intersecting at the same point intersecting at the same point the point of concurrence we are giving the name of this point is g <coughs> so the point of concurrent the point of concurrence g of the medians of the medians of a triangle is called centroid centroid of the triangle
centroid of the triangle means when the three median intersect at this point this point at g we call it a centroid so what is this this is the centroid the g point we call it a centroid so this is this point is con centroid because here the three median intersect at the same point of vertex a is bc you will draw a altitude altitude means it must be a 90 degree doesn't matter b what is the uh, side of uh, what is the um, you will not find here the midpoint we are finding the 90 degree it must be 90 degree so the ad is the altitude because at d we have the 90 degree same we will draw from vertex b to the opposite side this is also the 90 degree and we will give the name e so be is the another altitude and the third altitude from c is the vertex this is the 90 degree and this is the f so cf is the third altitude so basically an altitude of a triangle is the perpendicular line segment drawn from the vertex to the opposite side doesn't matter what is the length of bd and dc it may be different always it's not equal maybe equal and maybe different but the condition must be it must uh, it should be perpendicular perpendicular means 90 degree so the median and the altitude the difference is median drawn from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side and altitude vertex to the opposite side with the 90 degree means perpendicular and what is the description in triangle ABC AD BE and CF is perpendicular to side AD you can write it here AD BE and CF CF are perpendicular perpendicular sides BC AC and AB respectively. So these are three altitudes so three we can draw three medians in a triangle we can draw three altitudes in a triangle now when the three point intersect at the same point what we call it a ortho center the hmm? point the point of intersection ortho center ortho center the point of intersection the point of intersection of three altitude Three altitude of a triangle is called ortho center. So this is the ortho center when three altitude intersect. 
when three median intersect we call it a centroid so this is the difference altitude and median median because median the word is mid so we will find midpoint of opposite side and then join from vertex altitude altitude is a standing line like perpendicular standing line means it's a 90 degree so perpendicular so this is the difference the next topic is angle property of a triangle what is this the sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree how see in triangle abc we have three angles as you know that right triangle yeah. there is three sides three vertex three angles so now we have three angles even we are talking about any triangle means on the basis of sides we have three triangles on the basis of angles we have three triangles right total six types of triangles you have learned it right so yeah. all any type of triangles we have but the three angle sum is 180 degree always even the triangle is uh, equilateral triangle even it uh, the what the scalene triangle the isosceles triangle uh, acute angle triangle obtuse angle triangle or right angle triangle any triangle is we have the angle sum is 180 degree so three angle sum is how you will write it in the angles so angle a plus angle b plus angle c is 180 degree it's a fix angle a plus angle b plus angle c is equals to 180 degree this is the property name is angle sum property For example, in triangle ABC, angle A is given 75 degree, angle B is given 65 degree, you have to find angle C. So you can use this property and find it easily, angle C. So what is angle A? Yeah, so angle A is 75, just an example. Angle B is 65 and you have to find this. Yeah. So 75, how you will use it? Angle A plus angle B plus angle C is 180 degree. Now, angle A is 75 substitute values angle b is 65 angle c is angle c is 180 degree now add 75 plus 65 and subtract with 180 you will get the angle c so what is the answer um so angle c equals to 40 yeah 40 absolutely correct so angle c will be 40 degree so this is 40 degree so this property will help to find a third angle so two angles are given and we have to find the third angle you can use this property for finding third angle yeah 